Welcome to SmackDown Hotel's final presentation. Brought to you by Team Stone Cold Management, I am Miguel Castro, and using the miracle of the internet, my teammates will intro introduce themselves shortly. Let's begin. Introduction to project. In groups, students will produce a TV show and a booklet called Finger Puppet Management TV, using course topics and themes from the course. Since management can be found in almost every setting, students can tailor the characters and storyline to reflect an array of industries and job types. As students, we can develop our TV show however we would like using various forms of media for production. This assignment incorporates several tools and methodology in order to learn the fundamentals of management. We will use several tools including storyboards, role-playing, persona character profiles, metaphors for management, actor maps, prototyping, and design challenges to help create our TV show. A television show will be 10 to 15 minutes, seven episodes at two to three minutes each, created over the course of the semester using a smartphone or checked out flip camera from school. Weekly segments of two to three minutes will be created in class or online. There are to be a starting point for the TV show that will be professionally packaged and edited by the end of the semester. Weekly videos will be uploaded and shown in class or virtually via YouTube. So introducing team members, starting out, I am Miguel Castro. I'm a dad-to-be philosopher, musician, and a lifelong computer nerd. I've worked as a software developer for the past 18 years, and I'm currently pursuing my degree in management information systems with the goal of one day being a CIO. For hobbies, I like to cook, I like to play guitar, spend time with my family, and travel. Kevin Fabiziak. Kevin is an outgoing guy who enjoys working in a setting in which his and everyone else's thoughts and ideas are welcomed. He's a marketing major who especially enjoys branding and making a memorable project. Every now and then he can have creative input and you'll usually find him watching the Tampa Bay Lightning. Introduction to team members. Anna Elisa Higgins, Anna for short, is originally from Ocala, Florida. Anna moved to Jacksonville in 1998 and then transferred to USF in 2013. Anna is a marketing major this senior year. Anna is pretty active both on and off campus. On campus, Anna is chaplain of the Xi Omega chapter in the co ed business fraternity Alpha Kappa Psi and volunteer. Off campus, Anna works at CarMax as a buyer's assistant and is very involved with the youth group at her church. Anna's hobbies consist of basketball, spoken word poetry, reading, and sleeping. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name's Justin Montague. I'm a 23-year-old accounting major at USF St. Pete. I am currently a full-time student and have a full-time job as an electronics team member at Target. I spend my spare time with my friends and my girlfriend, who is now an accountant, so she's also a great tutor for me. Uh, I'm an outdoors lover, a food lover, a movie buff, and any time I get the chance for a vacation... I'm going to spend it at Disney. This is my junior year and my first year at USF uh, after transferring from St. Petersburg College. I love the campus and I enjoy all of my classes. Uh, finally, I aspire to be a tax certified public accountant and to learn more in general. Austin Stevens. I am a 20 year old junior at USF and am originally from St. Petersburg, Florida. I am currently majoring in economics with a minor in general business administration. Before my freshman year at USF, I earned two full-ride golf scholarships to the University of Tampa and Palm Beach Atlantic, along with a partial golf scholarship to Florida Gulf Coast and Florida Southern College. However, a neck and back injury just one month prior to school starting forced me to give up the dream of playing golf professionally and focus on academics. I enjoy playing with my dog, Ranger, who is a one-and-a-half-year-old Great Dane, spending time at the drag strip, racing with my family, and listening to music. Show Concept 
Smackdown Hotel is an upscale hotel in the heart of downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Steve is the lazy, beer-drinking manager of Smackdown Hotel. Under Steve, the hotel and its employees are struggling to operate day-to-day, and this has caught the attention of Smackdown Hotel's owner, Dwayne. Dwayne is disappointed with the way Steve is managing the hotel and is on the verge of firing Steve. Feeling desperate, Steve reaches out to his friend and mentor, Vince, to help guide him to becoming a great manager. Target Audience The target audience is a young working class demographic from 20 to 35 years old. The setting is an upscale hotel in downtown St. Petersburg. The targeted concepts are workplace ethics and proper expectations and understanding from a manager's point of view. Workplace ethics are a moral code of conduct for how one should behave in the work environment, treat others with respect, and maintain a clear state of mind to complete the job. Proper expectations and understanding from a manager's point of view is being reasonable with what you expect a single employee to accomplish within their role in the company and understanding that there can sometimes be factors that can affect the work productivity slightly or drastically. Character Profiles Steve, manager of the SmackDown Hotel. Steve's an apathetic and stubborn man with his employees who drowns his work problems with beer. With guests, he's more attentive and beloved for his unorthodox problem-solving style. He needs a little guidance to create a more wholesome work environment, and only Vince is capable of giving him that direction. Character Profiles Vince is your stereotypical wise owl and close friend and mentor of Steve. He is the owner of a successful hotel chain. Vince has been in the hotel business longer than Steve and knows it like the back of his hand. Vince is an innovative leader who has a combined 50 plus years of experience. He now has to spend his time looking after and mentoring Steve due to Steve's lack of managerial skills. Look for Vince to mentor Steve to become a better manager and leader. Character Profiles Dwayne, wealthy entrepreneur and owner of Smackdown Hotel. He is disliked by few, loved by most, and respected by all. Upon first glance, he can be intimidating since he stands 6'5 and is obviously a gym rat, but he is actually a compassionate person who loves dogs and is big on philanthropy. Dwayne cares about his employees and only wants what's best for them. He checks in with them regularly to see how everything is going around the hotel. Even though he seeks to keep his employees' morale high, he is the type of man that plays by his own rules. Character Profiles Lita is SmackDown Hotel's best receptionist. Lita has been with the company for almost three years and has watched Steve's declining management behavior for some time now. Lita is frustrated and stressed because of Steve's lack of care, organization, and overall performance as a manager. Character Profiles Trish is SmackDown's hotel second receptionist under Lita. She is Lita's polar opposite. Trish could care less about the hotel and is just there to collect a paycheck. Trish has no respect for Steve due to his lack of managerial skills and doesn't think SmackDown Hotel is going to remain in business very long. In Milestone 1, we picked a team leader, which is Miguel Castro. We also created a team charter that states the members of our team, our methods of communication, and the conduct expected of each team member. We read over it as a unit, and we each agreed that it was suitable for our group. In regards to our project, we all submitted a storyline idea, along with a cartoon storyboard that we believe could be used to build upon throughout the semester based on the concepts taught in the class. We chose to go with Kevin Fabiziak's idea, SmackDown Hotel. In the weekly scenarios, we use wrestlers' names and personality types from the wrestling show WWE SmackDown in relation to other characters. 
In Milestone 1, there were three scripts written about decision-making, organizational structure, and planning. Episode 1 is about the hotel not having the software it needs to make and keep record of customer reservations. The manager, Steve, is a lousy and does not like making the decisions necessary to keep the business afloat. Episode 2 is about one of the receptionists receiving a promotion and how it will affect the organizational structure of the SmackDown Hotel. Episode 3 is about the owner of the hotel, Dwayne, stopping by the hotel to check on how it's operating. To his surprise, he finds that it is a mess. He is not happy and has a mutual friend of him and Steve help make plans to train the hotel staff on how to use the new customer reservation system. In the end, the hotel is running more efficiently, but Dwayne will not be in town for a while and will be keeping his eye on the hotel and Steve. Milestone 2 defines each of the show's characters in a fair amount of detail to give the viewer an understanding of each of their backgrounds, and it also provides the format for each episode along with four early drafts for episodes. For the proper and efficient completion of this document, each of the five members within our group were assigned a single character to develop as they wanted and give their own creative insight to. After sorting out character assignments, one member was assigned the task of creating a general episode format, while the other four took an episode to draft. The even distribution of work has been vital to our group's success thus far, and the great organization and management of our group leader has made it all seamless. The ethical decision-making and organizational structure concepts have been well-practiced within our group as we understand who's responsible for what and what preferences each member has and work around those. The second milestone in the other group work is a great example of how well our group has managed tasks and distribution to create a fair workload accepted by each party. Show execution. To create a show, first we chose a management concept that pertained to a module in the curriculum. Once a topic was chosen, a script was then written. Initially, all team members took part in collaborating on a script. However, later on in the process, we came to use a different system where a specific team member was assigned a particular script to write. Having each team member write an individual script provided the team with better efficiency and we were able to finish writing the show's scripts rather quickly. Once the scripts were created, Miguel would then bring the script to life by using GoAnimate animation software. With GoAnimate, we were able to animate each show and add dialogue using a text-to-speech feature that GoAnimate uh, Go has. After each show was produced, the team would watch the show and ensure that the current scripts that were written would follow the storyline in a very seamless manner. Lastly, after the show was completed, it would be rendered to YouTube for the viewing pleasure of the class. Episode 1. Decision Making Smackdown Hotel is disorganized and still using paper to manage its reservations. Steve needs to make a decision on a vendor to use for the hotel's new reservation system before cancellations ruin the hotel. The episode touches upon one of the most important managerial actions, decision-making. Steve is given a decision-making framework called the classical model to help him make a managerial decision. The classical model, also known as the rational model, represents the earliest attempt to model decision-making processes. Episode 2. Organizational Structure Steve has purchased a new reservation system but has not provided suitable training for his employees. Lita tries to take charge of the front desk by asking Steve for a promotion. Steve must decide on what kind of organizational structure would be best for the hotel. Organizational structure can be defined as the sum of the ways an organization divides its labor into distinct tasks and then coordinates them. Steve needs to determine if a new organizational structure will benefit the hotel and lead to greater success with Lita taking on a greater role. Episode 3. Planning. Dwayne returns to the hotel to see operations completely disorganized. 
Employees are still having problems working the new reservation system, and Vince convinces Steve that better planning is necessary in order to properly manage the hotel. Vince explains to Steve that planning is a decision-making process that focuses on the future of an organization and how it will achieve its goals. Vince teaches Steve about the types of plans SmackDown Hotel needs to initiate. Episode 4. Organizational Change Dwayne feels that the hotel needs to do more to attract more celebrities to the hotel. Steve needs to implement an organizational change in order to create more business opportunities for the hotel. Vince counsels Steve on the various forces at play that compels an organization to seek change. Key external forces include economic conditions, competitors, technology, legal and political contexts, and societal and demographic trends. As a result of his discussion with Vince, Steve looks into initiating an advertising campaign. Episode 5, Individual Behavior, Values, and Attitudes Vince confronts Steve about his current behavior as manager and how Steve's values and attitude is affecting his employees and his job. Steve must make a decision on what type of manager he wants to be. The show addresses how values can influence goals and intentions. Steve is forced to reflect on his values and attitude towards his job at the SmackDown Hotel. Episode 6, Communication and Negotiation Steve must negotiate a deal with WrestlingCon, a popular convention for wrestlers, to help book up rooms in the hotel. Vince provides much-needed advice to Steve about negotiation and how the hotel and WrestlingCon can arrive to an agreement that serves their mutual interests. Episode 7, Motivation, Leadership, Trust After a long year, Dwayne must finally decide if Steve has the leadership qualities necessary to continue managing SmackDown Hotel. Throughout the year, Steve has learned that leadership is an undeniably critical part of the overall management process. With Vince's help, Steve has made positive gains towards becoming a better manager. Is it enough? Will Lita rise to the top? Or has Steve shown enough change to lead the hotel? General Conclusions on Management As most of us have experienced, much of management is more than just being an order giver. We have learned so far that management has as much to do with planning and organization as it does to do with great leadership. We have also seen that not only is management a team game, but a personal goal-driven adventure that has to do with creativity and perseverance. As you can see from our animated show, Stone Cold Management, even the inexperienced and weak leaders can put forth the effort and turn into great leaders and role models. This class is a learning experience in the way that students and the general population can look at management. With enough preparation and organization, we can all be great managers and leaders. Reflections As a team, reflecting on the class thus far, a variety of thoughts come to mind. The exposure to academic concepts found in our book, as well as sources outside the more traditional views of management, have a great contrast. Henry Mintzberg's findings on what managers really do on a day-to-day basis was enlightening and inspirational. Moreover, having the opportunity to attempt to better understand management concepts by way of producing our respective shows has been very challenging. For many of us, composing storyboards, writing scripts, and filming a show is all very new, but certainly rewarding to behold on the final product. The class has required us to be better managers of ourselves, as well as better managers among our teams. Recommendations for future students. It is a smart idea to get acquainted with group members quickly in this class. If you want to succeed, look to where others have succeeded. The best projects in the past have come from groups that have set schedules, have plans, 
and to have hard-working members. Remember that this class is not a sprint but a marathon, so make sure that you spread your project work across the week. A great tip that helped our group was to have all the individual parts done by Friday. That way we could have our leader, Miguel, give it the okay before organizing it and turning it in. Communication is also big, and for our group, we had multiple ways of communicating. We used conferences, uh, we used conferences in Canvas, text messages, and email as the most efficient ways of communicating based on it, urgency. Finally, be sure to ask questions and to verify the parts that you are in charge of. Using these tips are a solid way for students to be successful in this course. Lastly, on behalf of Team Stone Cold Management, we'd like to say thank you to Professor Dr. Diazio and uh, TA Jessica Weekly, um, as well as you know our teammates here at SmackDown Hotel for everything this year, um, all the hard work, um, the mentorship and leadership, and and just really uh, having a fun class to, to learn quite a bit. And um, we're, we very much appreciate everything. Thank you.